hey and welcome back in this video i'm gonna show you how to make the skelet items like buttons or object if you want in the game so let's jump in and start with the code and i will call mine on mouse scale and double click to open it and we don't need anything inside so just remove that and write two functions and first one will be called public void pointer enter and we're gonna write what's gonna happen whenever you go with the mouse over the buttons so write transform local scale equal a new vector to and let's say as a parameters 1.2f so this is gonna be scaled with your button or object whenever you're gonna use that And now we need another function and I will call it pointer exit and here I'm gonna write the code to bring back the object of here's normal scale. So it's gonna be transform local scale equal new vector 2 and of course 1f and 1f for the parameters. If you have something smaller of course you can use different parameters but in my case it's just one so let's save that and back to the unity and now we need to attach the script to the object and I will use for that the reload button and to use that we need to add the event trigger so add component and just write event and you should find it. And now we need to add two new events and first one is the pointer enter. Plus and we need to use the script and find the function we write it and we give the same name like here. So point and enter. And we need another event, what is going to happen on the exit, so pointer exit and find the pointer exit from your script. Save and let's play and check. So now if I go with the mouse to the lay, nothing happened and the next, but when I go to the reload, you see the button is scaled up. However, it's not like I want to, so I'll just need to replace the system and just add that to the background with the button as well so I'll just move the button to the background of it so here it is and I just move it and I will remove the script and the functions from it so just remove the component and I will add the script and the events to the button backgrounds to the holder, the parents of the objects. And now we need to add the event trigger as again. And do the same like we did before with the pointer enter and the pointer exit. Okay, let's check that. And now it's work like I like. So everything scal the button and the background of it and let's jump into the code and change the value to seem it better. So let's just go for two. So now we're gonna see the huge difference. Let's play and check. And everything works. It's the huge button now. So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. If you're interested, check other videos from my channel. See you next time. Cheers.